Houston. Do we have a problem? Greetings all, it's your boy Perry Walker and welcome back to my channel. And I want to talk about this report that went viral on social media about Houston's STD outbreak. Now, since then, the local news channel and the Houston Health Department has come out to debunk that. So let's take a look at that. New at 10 o'clock, the Houston Health Department is setting the record straight about an alarming social media post that is going viral. It claims to show more than 46,000 people tested positive for various STDs in Houston just last week. Stephen Gowen is getting some answers about what those numbers really mean. Stephen. Len, this post is alarming because it's been viewed more than 3 million times, but it actually refers to the number of STD tests across the state, not diagnoses. Tonight, the Houston Health Department is now apologizing for the, quote, distress this may have caused, but they still don't know who exactly put this information out there. It only took 24 hours for this image to gain traction on social media. It claims tens of thousands of people in Houston were diagnosed with chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, or HIV in the past week. But that's not true. In a statement to the KHOU 11 Verify team, the Houston Health Department says this post includes grossly overstated numbers and incorrect information. We're told those numbers actually represent the number of tests done for these STDs across the entire state last week, not just Houston. And there's no indication if the tests were positive or negative. According to the Houston Health Department, a quote, violation of its policies resulted in the data being shared. The department is now conducting an investigation, but a spokesperson would not say if an employee has been identified as the one who published that data. I knew immediately that uh, a lot of people would read it incorrectly and not understand it. Jeffrey Campbell with Allies and Hope, a Houston organization focused on ending the spread of HIV, says he was disappointed. It really bothers me to see misinformation and stigma about STDs gaining traction online. He believes if people are getting tested, it's a good sign they're being responsible. Individuals cannot know their status, whether it's an HIV status or an STI status, unless they get tested. Testing leads us to ending the, uh, the HIV epidemic. Now we will stay on the health department to see if they find the employee responsible for this misinformation and if that person faces any consequences or disciplinary action. The health department says they do want people to remain safe when it comes to sex. At the Houston Health Department, Stephen Gowen, KHOU 11 News. Yeah, the big question is who and why. Stephen, thank you. Okay, so you, you saw that, you heard that, and pretty much uh, the uh, local news and the Houston Health Department has pretty much debunked that story. But that still doesn't negate the fact that there's far too many people here in Houston, in the United States, and all across the world that are participating in hookup culture. Now, I want to focus primarily on the black community because we have an issue. We have a problem. We have a problem with single parent homes. We have a problem with most of our women taking part in this reproductive health care. If you know what I mean, I can't say certain things because YouTube, like taking people's videos off for saying certain words. And, um, Quite honest, this hookup culture is really a bad problem. A lot of people think that just because they're wearing protection, maybe they're not getting an STD, that they're okay. But the scripture says something different. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 12 through 20, says, All things are lawful to me, but all things are not helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated by anything. Food is meant for the stomach, and the stomach for food. And God will destroy both one and the other. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. And God raised the Lord and will also raise us up by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a prostitute has become one body with her? For it is written, the two will become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord becomes one with his spirit. Flee from sexual immorality. Every sin a person commits is outside the body. But the sexually immoral person 
sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. You were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Now, of course, Paul is addressing believers in the church of Corinth. And I'm also addressing believers because I'm not fool enough to to think that people that call themselves Christians aren't participating in hookup culture. I know that even before I became a Christian, I was participating in hookup culture. And after I became a Christian, way back in 1990, when I got back to the States, I started doing things I shouldn't have been doing. And at first it was out of ignorance, but then after becoming a Christian, when I know that those things were wrong, I shouldn't have been participating in those things. Now, since then, I've been married for 28 years, so I don't tip out on my wife. I don't do those things. She doesn't do those things either. But my wife and I had to pay the consequences for our actions, okay? And so do so many other people, but a lot of people don't think so. A lot of people that think that they can just go go around and go their merry way and do whatever they want without any regards, especially those who say, well, I'm not a Christian, so I don't believe what that Bible says. But that doesn't make it not true or any less true. And the difference is, as a believer, I know what God requires. And I know what happens to me because the sin, the, uh, the scripture says the wages of sin is death. And sexual immorality is sin against our own body. And that leads to death in many ways. That leads to death, whether it be physical death, becoming a victim to an STD, uh, incurable STD. Or if that means that our spirit dies because we become so desensitized to something that was meant to be a gift between a husband and his wife, that when we do finally decide to settle down, sex has no meaning to us, okay? And as the scripture says that we should not allow ourselves to be joined with the harlot or prostitute because we become one flesh. So I've heard of people having thousands of body counts and have no regards for the actions taken against their bodies. And like I said, that desensitization, (laughs) being desensitized to the fact that you slept with so many people that if you do decide to get married, you can never be satisfied because you've allowed your flesh to run wild and rampant for so long. And I think some guys called it pair bonding with women, men or whatnot. I don't know. Something like that. We got to stop this, especially in the black community. Uh, We're the least to get married, but yet we have the largest amount of single parent homes. And we just can't point our fingers at the women because there's a lot of misbehaving men. And a lot of these men are not pookies and ray rays because that is the number one thing. Well, these, these are the undesirable men that are having all these children. No, I know some people that consider themselves upstanding people that are sleeping around with multiple women and supposed to be faithful to a woman that they have at home. So it's not always these so-called, they call ghetto people. It's people that think that they're upstanding citizens because everybody's right in their own eyes. So I don't know who needs to hear this. And hopefully if you're participating in this and you're going down that path of destruction and you don't see nothing wrong with it, maybe this could be a wake-up call or a warning to you I'm here to tell you that you got to stop it. So Houston may not have a problem with an STDs. Maybe we do. But irregardless, we do have a problem with hookup culture. And it needs to stop. Because one day, just one day, you may catch something that you that that's incurable. Or if you're a young lady, you may have a baby that you did not expect to have. I'm just saying. So anyhow, whoever needs to hear this, take heed to it. Give me a thumbs up so they can help me with that YouTube algorithm. And if you really dig what I'm saying, you can subscribe and watch another one of my videos that's up there in that screen. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.